אז... Thank you, Mr. Show. Pleasant good morning, everyone. Pleasant good morning, everyone. Protocol having been established, I still proceed to extend a special welcome to our honorary invited guest at the head table. Today is a blessed day. We see how many have come to sit with us to celebrate not just the accomplishments of the project, but also Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day. to all mothers, nurturers that are present today. Um, and it gives me great pleasure to, pre to present the project overview and what we have accomplished thus far. The Ministry of Human Development, Families and Indigenous Peoples Affairs has the mandate to work with and for women and families to achieve improvement in the quality of their lives. We strongly believe that empowering women is essential to the health and social development of families, communities, and countries. We believe that when women are living a safe, fulfilled, and productive life, they can reach their full potential. We believe that empowering women and girls is key to the economic growth, political stability, and social transformation. With this in mind, on February 8, 2021, the Ministry of Human Development, Families, and Indigenous Peoples Affairs, through partnership, received a donation of 523 bales of fabric from the Taiwanese government. Being a ministry committed to implementing a bold and progressive women's agenda, and more so, its commitment to meaningful engagement and empowerment of Belizean women, the ministry quickly sprang to action. The plan of engaging women's groups throughout Belize in a project to create economic opportunities quickly took shape. The thought of providing an opportunity for the creation, marketing, and distribution of a wide range of quality, authentic Belizean products made from fabric was born. And what better conduit to do this than through the Women and Family Support Department? who has in the past worked and continues to work with women's groups and entrepreneurs, allowing for the development and marketing of products. This project, entitled Economic Development and Empowerment of Women, is being undertaken to first capitalize on the department's nationwide network of clients, women's groups, and entrepreneurs, to facilitate the economic empowerment of women and families throughout Belize, to create greater opportunities for women to secure decent employment and income, and of course, to enhance the coverage and effectiveness of social protection for all. Upon completion of the project, it is expected that the participating women's groups, entrepreneurs, and our women's organizations will produce products locally made authentic Belizean products from the fabric donated and immersed in the local markets. Completion of the project is expected to be, to be achieved by mid-May. To date, project milestones associated with the project are as follows. The development of an eligibility criteria, the development of a memorandum of understanding to allow for clear rules and expectations, Engagement, of course, with the beneficiaries for full participation and understanding the project goals and objectives. To date, we have a total of 39 women's groups and entrepreneurs benefiting, benefiting from the project. In Carazal, we have six women's groups. In Orange Walk, four groups. Tayo, eight groups. Belize, nine groups. Stan Creek, five groups. And Toledo, seven groups. Training of entrepreneurs or the women's group took place. This was, of course, to allow for quality. Quality control for the production of tote bags. Eight sessions were held countrywide. The distribution of the fabric countrywide, which we could not have done without the generous contribution of the Belize Defense Force, who distributed the fabric without any complaint during Women's Month as their commitment to the advancement of women. The production of prototype tote bags 
to date, all 39 groups have been able to produce samples of the tote bags. As to the upcoming activities, it includes production of other materials, other products, focusing on tote bags, gym bags, tablecloths, as well as aprons, curtain sets, and of course sheets and pillow sets, just to name a few. Lastly, we must explore marketing. Marketing of the items being produced so that the project can be successful, which we hope to do through partnership, and of course we must leverage community support. Direct marketing channels, of course. Ladies are already accustomed to having customer segments doing expos, so that continues as much as COVID will allow. As well as digital marketing, which is so now very important in this COVID conscious time. So as we continue to make this project a success, I thank each and everyone who has supported and or contributed in any way to the success of this project as we continue as a belief to promote gender equality and equity, thereby enabling women and men to be actively involved in and enjoy all benefits of development. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Krista. At this point in time, I'd like to